Yo, what's up? Dark Cask is here. And uh, man, oh man, been wrecking my brain to get this to work. And uh, yeah, DLSS is working. Hey guys, if this information, by the way, helps you in any way, make sure to leave a, a like on the video, subscribe to the channel. Really, really small channel. Try to make it with a 9 to 5 job and a family running YouTube at the same time. It ain't easy. We do this for fun, but it will go a long way and it doesn't cost you a penny. Leave that like, subscribe, and leave a comment if this uh, video helped you out, okay? For the uh, keen eye amongst yourselves, if I change this to the controller UI, do you see in the corner there? I'll try and zoom in for you guys. Look at that. Preset K, DLSS 4, which is the 310.2.1. And as you can see on the NGX, it's upscaling from 1080p to 4K. The cool thing about forcing DLSS in this game is that you do it once and you're good to go. And you don't even need to change the DLSS quality in the modded file. You can do it from the game. You can go the settings. You can put resolution scale, let's say 67, which is like DLSS quality, I think. Go back in game. Look at that 1440p. You see the, the, the resolution there? Well, actually it's not 40, 1440p. Maybe it's a, uh, what is it? 66%. You get my drift, you see? 1426p. So it works in game. You don't you, you just need to do this one time and you're uh, you're rocking. Alright? And by the way, if you're wondering what that DLSS indicator thing is in the corner, I'll have the the files so that you can use that in your own system to verify if it is working or not. You can also Google DLSS indicator, it's pretty easy, but I'll I'll have a Google Drive link. To both the engine file and the DLSS indicator on and off reg files. Okay. Now I'll say this: even at 50%, which is 1080p, right? I mean, the game looks infinitely better than it does with TSR. I mean, I don't even understand why the devs did not implement DLSS. I mean, I guess the build is just a bit old. But as soon as I saw this. By the way, 40,000, not bad. It was 60,000 yesterday. A lot of people, I guess, just tried and, and left. And a lot of people were thoroughly disappointed. And then a lot of people just simply don't have a system that can run it, to be honest. It's quite it's quite an unoptimized, heavy game at the moment. But as soon as I saw this, detected technologies, and it says DLSS, frame gen, every, uh, reflect, everything. I was like, well, hang on a minute. Let me check. Let me check the game files. And... Lo and behold, it's there. Chrono Odyssey, plugins, NVIDIA, DLSS, binaries, blah, 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 blah. And the DLSS DLL file is there. Um, so I put the 310, which is DLSS 4. But honestly, if you have a, three, a Series 30 or a Series 20 RTX card, I actually recommend not using this because you, you might actually lose like quite a bit of performance in comparison to DLSS 3. And the difference doesn't justify it. So what I would say is the game by default comes with 3.7.2. Leave it like that if you have a 3060, a 3080, a 3090, a 2080 Ti, whatever, right? Uh, if you have a 40 series card or a 50 series card, I would recommend you guys go to this website here. Download the latest DLL, which is for DLSS 4, which is this one here on Tech Power Up. And copy paste into into here and just overwrite you can always back up the the other dll just in case but you shouldn't have to now meat and potatoes how do we actually get this going so very simply first of all do this with the game closed i have the game open but close the game for the love of god so you're gonna go to c Users, your username, app data, local, Chrono Odyssey, saved, config, and Windows. Now, the game only has the game user settings file here. You will not see this file here. Like I said, I'm going to have a link for the uh, a Google Drive link to this. But if you want to do it yourself, all you got to do is open Notepad, name the file engine.ini. That's India, November, India. And... 
basically just put all of this in there. So we are enabling DLSS with this command here. But then I also took the liberty of adding this to get rid of, you know, bloom, film grain, chromatic aberration, um, vignette effects, all that sort of stuff. Depth of field. I don't like any of that stuff. So I always use this. So I just added it. I, I, I'll put this in the description if you want to do it yourself and you don't want to download anything. But if you just want to download this and, and put it here, by all means. Now, one last thing. Make sure that you tick read only and apply. Okay? Before you do this, though, I would recommend these settings for you. I've tested and tested. These are the settings that that work the best for me. So, I have it boardless, but you, you use full screen if you want. That's not important. Uh, resolution scale. That depends on your card. That depends on your resolution. Play with this. I'm at, four, I'm at 4K with DLSS 4. So upscaling from 1080p to 4K looks really good. It doesn't matter. I'm going for performance, right? Now, global illumination. I don't care if you have a 5090. Stick this on medium. It's the biggest performance hog. I don't understand. I, I think high turns on software lumen. I think that's what's happening. And it's completely unoptimized. It really seems like the this closed beta in reality is more of a technical alpha. Let's just call it what it is. I, I That's how I see it. So it seems that the only settings that are really optimized remotely are the medium settings, which I'm guessing it's in preparation for the console release. These will be the console settings. So medium doesn't seem to engage Lumen. So medium is by far the, 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 the biggest win you're going to get. And then everything else, so shadow, everything you see here on high, you can put it on medium. If you think that you need the performance, I don't know, a 3070, a 3060, a, a 4060, whatever, right? You will, the, the optimized settings would be everything on medium. Texture quality depends on much VRAM you have. And then effect, effects, the detail, low. Post-processing, low. This is just my preference because I hate my screen full of effects and I hate post-processing, right? But it will net you some FPS here and there. And then, like I said, if it says high on screen right now, put it on medium first, see how you get on. But these are like the optimized settings. Everything medium, texture quality, depends on your VRAM, effects and post-processing low. Now, very important as well, do not use unrestricted. Use 144 hertz. Even if you don't have a uh, 144 hertz screen just use 144 trust me unrestricted plenty of people reported this on reddit unrestricted for some reason is totally borked it actually gives you the worst frame times imaginable okay so stick this on 144 and then if you want to turn vsync on that's up to you it will v it will sync to whatever refresh rate your screen has okay but don't use unrestricted, don't use 120, don't use 60, use 144. Graphics API, leave it on DirectX 12. Just, just leave it like this, trust me. Right? Motion blur intensity, obviously stick it to zero. When you've done this, apply, restart the game. And then I would say, add this, add this engine file to, to the mix. Okay? I will have all the um, locations uh, on the description including the DLSS indicator. And then when you open, when you add this, you open the game and you'll see in the corner there, you know, preset K, 310, 201, blah, 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 all that stuff. Now, if you don't see preset K, you, you probably need to use um, NVIDIA Profile Inspector, which is this bad boy here. I don't use the NVIDIA app, screw that. And another thing that I would advise is, even if you don't want to use Profile Inspector, go to, to, to the normal NVIDIA control panel, add the profile to Chrono Trigger. Actually, let, let's do that now. So, NVIDIA control panel. I might have one here already because I've done it on Inspector. Program settings. There you go. It's here. So if, it's, if you don't have one here, just add it there. Add, right? And if I open this, you'll see the only thing I have is maximum performance so this will this will ensure that your your gpu is always at full full tilt uh when playing chrono odyssey now don't forget when you put add to select the actual dot exe in this case this one here right 
you have to associate it with the uh, .exe. And as you can see, I don't I don't mess around with any of these settings here. I just pop maximum performance, click apply, you're good to go. If you use Profile Inspector, it's even easier. You can just do it from here. As you, I'll show you Chrono. So I put Chrono Odyssey MMO. I added the the two exes, the the games .exe and the games Win64 Shipping .exe which you can do here and you will see the only thing I have is you know it's the same they they mirror it, the control panel settings now if you, if I go to my normal um, global setting what you will see if you scroll down this is why I inspector is the best you see here in enable DLL override on so my DLSS letter preset that's why it says preset K will always be the latest and the same so so it will always be DLL, DLSS 4, sorry. And the preset letter will always be the latest as well. This is something that you can do in the NVIDIA app, but you can't do it as freely as you can do with Profile Inspector. That's why I use Inspector, because it's the best. Like, uh, you, you, I can just do it on my global profile. I don't need to do it game by game by game. I just click, I just do this, apply changes. Every single game that uses DLSS will always be DLSS 4 and it will always be preset K. So if you open your game after adding the engine file to enable DLSS and you don't see preset K in the corner there, just have a quick Google on how to get Inspector and how to enable preset K for all DLSS running games, all right? But again, if you don't have a 40 series card or a 50 series card, just leave the DLSS file that's with the game the 3.7.2 okay i think that's it a bit of a bit of a rush job i know but i want to get this information out because you know it does make the experience way 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 better and by the way let's just get like i was getting like 40 47 to 60 using these settings now look at that and, and don't say oh it's because you got a 40 90 no i'm telling you performance was terrible in town especially when like panning around and stuff it would go from 60 to like 32 now it's kind of like you know 57 and you know 56 and 55 and then it shoots back to 60 it's infinitely better and in the open world trust me it will always you will be you will be 60 99 of the time all right but yeah Bit of a rush job, but I wanted to get the information out. If this uh, added any value to your day and your gaming experience, please leave a like on the video. It really helps me out. Uh, subscribe to the channel. It's totally free, but it goes a long, long way to, to grow this tiny, small channel. So yeah, if you can, subscribe, leave a like. Hey, leave a comment. If this helped you, leave a comment. Tell me, did it help you? Did it not help you? Did it make it worse? Uh, all that sort of stuff. And if you need any more details on how to do it, obviously leave a comment as well, and I'll try to answer to best of my abilities. All right. Cheers, guys. Peace.